When I prepped for interviews that led me to landing several big tech offers, yeah, I guess I'll throw that humble brag in there, I decided to try out a lot of different services to see if they lived up to the hype. And there was this one ad that I could not escape from on YouTube. Do you know what the scariest thing in the world is? I still have nightmares to this day. So yeah, I actually used Algo Expert, and I didn't just check it out. I actually used it in my prep for interviews. So for those of you that don't know, the core product of Algo Expert is a curated list of questions for technical interviews. And there are a few other features to it. So here we go, starting with what I liked. First thing is you're able to filter questions based on instructors. And if you're unfamiliar, the only instructors are Clement, ex-Google software engineer who probably interviewed dozens of people during his time there, Tech with Tim, ex-Microsoft intern, and Nick White, X, nothing. So I just cared about Clemens questions. So the Clemen filtered questions were about a hundred or so questions. I like that the questions were in order of difficulty, or you can at least sort them by difficulty. This made it easier for gradually improving, which is definitely a key part of prepping. It's a lot better when you work your way up with smaller victories and by taking on those easier problems, you set yourself up for the more complicated and harder problems later on. I also appreciated the text editor. Now, the way I prepped, it was not that important about running code because I was prepping for whiteboard style interviews where you typically write pseudocode, but it was nice to have the editor. Just an FYI, I definitely had interviews at certain companies that expected working code with test cases. So it can definitely happen. I just found that to be less common. You can also make multiple solutions for each question, which is great if you're going to work on the same problem in the future. I also like that in many cases, multiple solutions were provided, whether they were just different efficiencies or different approaches. Further, Clement provided pretty reliable videos on solving each question, which is convenient so you don't have to look around for a solution online. Another nice to have is the timer in case you were trying to time yourself, which is important because getting faster at solving problems and gauging your time is important. I think it was also nice to have the timer just to know when to give up on trying to solve a problem. There were also these timed assessments that had a similar style to hacker rank assessments. I thought these were nice and I wish there were more of them. And now for what I didn't like. The data structure crash course is a cool idea, but it's definitely not all you need to build the foundation for data structures. It's just a very quick overview. The course also failed to offer many tips related to specifically dealing with data structures in the wild, and that would have been really beneficial. I think it would be more appropriate for something claiming to be an all-in-one interview prep service to offer more detailed content on each data structure. I think it's a little odd that Clement, a bootcamp grad, software engineer from a non-traditional background, isn't offering a little more prep on data structures when he should know that places like boot camps tend to ignore data structures entirely. Even if it's overkill for some, I think many would appreciate it. So yeah, I like that he provides data structure content, but Algo Expert has been out for a while, and it's quite obvious that the focus right now is not as much about improving the current product rather than adding other subscription-based products. Another thing I did not like was that some explanations were just not that helpful. Don't get me wrong, a lot of them were, but there was times where I needed Clement the most and he kind of dropped the ball. I would say when I was initially prepping, I was really concerned about dynamic programming and some of the explanations for simple problems like coin change, Clement kind of did one of those things where he already knew the solution. So he's like, oh yeah, it's very obvious that we should just make an n plus one array with all the values infinity except for the first one. That should be zero. I mean, with little context, that makes perfect sense, right? For somebody who was initially struggling with those particular concepts, it was really frustrating to understand the logic behind some of the DP solutions. I didn't want to just throw random DP arrays at things during interviews and expect it to work like it does for easier questions like coin change. I wanted to know why I was doing it too. So his solutions definitely dropped the ball there because I felt they lacked prerequisite information. Lastly, I do wish there were more questions by Clement because 100 is not all that much. I definitely recommend doing at least 200 curated questions before interviewing just to be certain. So obviously Algo Expert isn't going to cut it as an all-in-one product. So overall, the content itself was great and the platform itself was very nice to use. But I don't think Algo Expert is meant for everybody. Maybe some of the easy and medium questions are for everyone, but I think you need some background in CS to really get the most out of the platform. That being said, 
The best demographic for algo expert is somebody who was like me during my prep. I already knew foundational stuff for CS and just needed light learning and review along the way. What you are essentially paying for by purchasing algo expert is convenience, which I will say is worth a lot. Because remember, time is money and you'll most likely save a lot of time in prepping using the program. Also remember, interview prep is an investment in yourself. And I really think Algo Expert is a great way to get you leak code ready. Hold up, shouldn't it make you interview ready? Well, no, at least I don't think so. I think Algo Expert will make you ready to start solving leak code questions on your own without feeling like you're going crazy or you can't do it. I think it will definitely prep you for a lot of interview questions like phone screens and various on-site interview questions, but I think it's not likely that it'll prep you for being able to successfully pass full on-site interview loops. I feel there is still a need for other curated lists such as Nico.io, Blind75, Cracking the Coding Interview, and or elements of the programming interview. But I will say, Algo Expert definitely offers more assistance than the free list like Nicode, which does offer some assistance, or Blind75, which just is a list of questions. But to be honest, the actual solutions are probably not any better than cracking the coding interview or elements of the programming interview, except it's nice to have long video explanations with some visuals. What do we learn? So Algo Expert is not for everybody, at least not right away. However, if you are already familiar with data structures, the platform is a great way to expedite your prep. Welcome to the Nerd Lab.